I'm Stephanie Essen, and this is the Intel Developer Zone update. This time we're talking about what Intel brought to CES, what you can build with DPDK in a box, and we're talking about what you can expect to see at FemHacks. Links are below to learn more. CES 2017 brought more than the latest gadgets and compute boards. This year, Intel offered full VR experiences. At the news conference for the event, Intel CEO Brian Kruzanich led attendees through a handful of VR adventures, starting with a wingsuit flight over Moab, Utah. The next stops were the Banjiak Waterfall in Vietnam, an inspection of a Nevada solar plant using a drone, the final destination was a VR zombie apocalypse, and the new game Arizona Sunshine. All the experiences were powered by 7th generation Intel Core processor PCs and Oculus headsets. You can see what else happened at CES by visiting the Intel newsroom to see what was announced each day of the show. Next, you can learn to build a DPDK based traffic generator by checking out this article online. The instructions are tested on our DPDK in a box, as well as on an Intel Core i7 5960X Haswell E desktop. You can use any Intel architecture platform to build your own device. See how you can use LibRealSense and PCL to generate point cloud data and display that data in the PCL viewer by checking out this article. After completing the steps, you will have a starting point to create your own LibRealSense and PCL applications. You won't want to miss us at FemHacks 2017 starting February 24th at the University of Pennsylvania. Intel-sponsored FemHacks is a hackathon that encourages beginners to come together and learn and create hacks with other women. They host a panel that explores different career paths in tech and various workshops like Intro to Git, Web Development, and Hardware. There's also plenty of community building opportunities in a tech environment that is inclusive to women. The winner of the best hardware hack prize from last year, Tiffany Co., used an Intel Edison to build a terrain sensing device that attaches to a wheelchair. Sending data to a backend that processes the information, it then produces an optimal accessibility route for wheelchair users. As team member Amelia Goodman puts it, we think it's pretty rad and basically all thanks go to Intel to providing means for her to make this. We hope to see equally awesome contributions happening this year at FemHacks. Don't forget to check out the links to access more info on anything we covered, and remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel to keep getting all of your Intel Developer Zone updates, and check us out on Facebook.